parents head to school seeking answers on the plan to keep their kids safe after a shooting. Sally Schulze reports on the meeting today that happened at Schur's High School. It looks like a normal day at Schur's High School, but with security people dotting the campus, some students absent, and caregivers reeling from this week's shooting just steps from the Northwest Side School. It's happening everywhere, and really what I said to myself when it happened, now you all know what the kids on the South Side deal with every day. Teresa Rios and others headed to the CPS school Friday morning for a parent meeting with the interim principal. CPS said the goal was to talk about the incident and the plan to move forward after four teens were shot across the street from the school Wednesday afternoon. Two of them are students at Schur's, including one shot in the face and neck and left in critical condition. This shooting happened on just the third day of class for CPS and it's left some kids clearly shaken. I know it's affecting him. I see it in his face. I try to talk to him about it. He doesn't want to come back to school. Jessica Marcotte, sophomore, still hasn't returned to class since witnessing Wednesday's shooting. Like other parents, she's questioning security at the school. As I was just like, something's going to eventually happen because we live in Chicago and there's gangs. And I was concerned about the low staffing in regards to the security and them taking out the school officers. So that's my concern is more security. Adding to the uncertainty, Chicago police say no one is in custody for the shooting. In Old Irving Park, Sally Schulze, Fox 32, Chicago.